welcome to round four of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of April 17th. I'm Katherine Haleko, and I'm here with Nicole Eridix. Hello. And Terry Morrow. Hello. As moms of teens and young adults, we've survived those little kid days, yet we're still rethinking the decisions we've made all through our kids' lives and worrying about what's going on right now. Today's Thursday, which means it's time to give in to our obsessing. <laughs> and today we are obsessing about family stories. So... Terry came across um, an article about a book by Diane Ladd and Laura Dern, uh, mother-daughter actors, Mm -hmm. which is coming out at the end of the month. And Audible is already sending me emails saying, do you want this? How about this? How about this? How about this book? You'd like this book, don't you think? Got Got a credit burning a hole in your pocket? Turn it on over. I always have credits burning a hole in my pocket. Yes. I get 12 at a time, and so well, that's a lot. they burn a hole into my pocket for a year. Yeah. It's a deep hole. <laughs> but uh, but this, this one sounded interesting both as a book to read and as an audio book to listen to because, of course, they narrate it. Right. And uh, it was saying that uh, Diane Ladd, the mom, had some health complications and had to walk a lot, and so Laura was walking with her, and they were just talking about stories from – the mom's life and having all sorts of meaningful conversations and then also talking about recipes and it wound up, they wound up sort of converting it into a book about. Because they're famous. Because they're famous. Mm -hmm. That's why there's a book. Mm -hmm. Uh, And you know what? Probably I will take that credit out of my pocket and flip it over in their direction because why not? It sounds interesting. But I also was thinking, I took a lot of walks with my mom at one time I'm a writer. Why didn't I get a book out of it? Exactly. Nobody would have bought it, but I still could have written it. And then I would remember things that I have long forgotten. <laughs> and, you know, then if I, you know, my daughter and I have long, long conversations. Of course, they're mostly me talking, but she talks sometimes. <laughs> and what sort of book would we make out of my conversations? And what would she title it? My mother won't shut up with the title. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, have you guys ever thought about that? Are there stories in your family that you think might one day be book fodder if you were a famous person and you could get in touch with the publisher? Or um, <laughs> is it just maybe you could write a blog post? We don't necessarily have book material. But we have a list of Christianisms, we call it. Ah. <laughs> oh, that would be lovely. Mm-hmm. Because our daughter... Make yourself a little book. For some reason, and I think between Josh and I, we're, my son and I, we're tracking it on a shared note. <laughs> <laughs> because she comes up with these sayings and it's like, it's like a regular everyday saying, but she twists it in a way that it's just it's funny it's so funny like i don't get it i'm not sure <laughs> what it's a result of but <laughs> she just has these little quirky sayings that we all laugh and yeah so we're we're saving that for something one day we're not sure what but mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a very they're very quirky and funny and and we, it makes us laugh. I don't think anybody else would laugh, but it makes us laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's been been people who – wasn't there like a book and then a TV series based on the book that was – I don't remember if this was the title of the book or just how we have to say it on a podcast, but it was like Bleep My Dad Says. Yes, yes. But he was – I think that guy was already a comedy writer. Right. Before he got a book contract. Right. So, you know, it's not un – heard of that you could make a little book of interesting things that somebody says <laughs> right yeah definitely a blog post it yes. could be might be yeah yeah <laughs> series of greeting cards maybe yes uh, greeting cards <laughs> <laughs> page a day calendar yes. There you go. yes <laughs> that's more like it you make those up and distribute them to your family and friends mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. well you know I always do, and I've mentioned this has been my roundabout roundup item is like a daily calendar of photos that mm-hmm. I make at yeah. a company called Social Print Studio. So you can do that, uh-huh. <laughs> and it'll just be it'll be you know aphorisms that uh, you but can. But she all has to enjoy. have three hundred sixty-five of them, right? 
So tell her to up her production. Or maybe maybe you could do Thanks. like one a week. Depends on how many you have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I you mean, can repeat them about halfway through the year. Nobody's going to remember. Yes, our our photo calendar um, for sure gets uh, there's repeats. So. Yeah. But you know, a- another thing that I have mentioned on Roundabout Roundup that is relevant here is the. Um, Story worth, yes. Um, where it sends an email to, uh, it sends you a question by email every week, right? And oh. you answer That's a lot it. of pressure. I remember that. Yeah, and you could you could change the question, or you could, you know, mm-hmm. like not answer it, or <laughs> you know, do six weeks at a time, or whatever it was. But yeah, I, I did that for both of my parents, and it was a it. It worked really well, mm-hmm. except for the part where I proofread it like a thousand times, and then there's a mistake on the cover. Oh, no, no, of one of them. <laughs> no, no. Way. Oh, I'm so upset. There's always <laughs> a mistake, and it's always in some extremely uh, visible place. Yes, but that was a very cool way to collect yeah. a lot of um, memories and just. You know, sometimes it was memories like talk about right. your parents or your uh-huh. education or whatever. And mm-hmm. sometimes it was like, you know, f- your favorite food or your favorite book or whatever. You know, it it was a combination of those kind of things. Mm-hmm. So that that was definitely worthwhile. Yeah. That is so. a cool way to do it. That's for the non-celebs that <laughs> right. can't get... You pay them to make it yeah. <laughs> yes, that's right. instead of getting getting a little <laughs> advance and royalties yeah, for it. For sure. So. And an audio book with your voices on it. Yes. Yes. I don't know. I feel like my parents probably had stories that would be interesting to read. And I remember some, but I don't know if I remember them right mm-hmm. or if I heard it correctly, if I remembered it correctly, if I'm making it up. Right. And it's so frustrating because I, you know, I share my dad with my half sister, but nobody was with me when I was growing up. So anything that was happening then, yeah, I was the only witness to, and I, my memory is bad. And things that happened before, you know, in their younger lives, I don't know what is. Yeah. I, I tell stories and then I think afterwards, I don't even know if I'm remembering <laughs> that right. So if I could have gotten my mom to tell me things and yeah. recorded them or written them down, mm-hmm. it might have been an interesting book to read. I feel yeah. like they had interesting experiences uh, in their youth and in their adulthood and in meeting each other and, uh, you know. Uh, and of course, in being parenting to me, that would be chapters and chapters of gloriousness. <laughs> Who would not want to read about that? So interesting. But Absolutely. even so, even before, I feel like they had sort of atypical stories. Mm-hmm. And my daughter has certainly some atypical stories that she can't remember. So right. from her early childhood. Right. And I, I recently got a book. It's called The Hard Parts by Oksana Masters. She's a Paralympian, very successful Paralympic athlete. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was, I know a little bit of her because when I, we adopted the kids, I was part of a email group of parents who adopted from Russia and the Ukraine. And her mother was in, her adoptive mother was in that. And so we heard stories about the surgeries she had to have and the problems she had and all that. And I started listening to this book and I thought, this will be great because I'll, you know, she'll, she was old enough to remember some of her experience in the orphanage. And so I'll have a sense of what my daughter might have gone through. And I listened to a little bit and it was horrible. And it's like, I can't oh, listen to any more of this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, glad you got my book money, Oksana. I'm glad you're, uh, please, I hope your book is successful. But mm-hmm. aye. Yeah. yeah. So, and I don't know that my daughter's was horrible. I mean, everybody seemed nice, but there were some things. So... I would love to be able to share her story. Mm-hmm. I think that would be much more interesting than ever, anything that has ever happened to me in my life. Mm-hmm. But it's locked up. Yeah. yeah, It's very deep. And I don't think it comes out without trauma. So let's just let it stay. Right. Let's, let's leave keep, there. <laughs> keep it where it Not is. worth a book contract. No. Right. Oh. So. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Well, we, we have our podcast where we talk about things right. all the time. We have a... 
an archive uh-huh. that you don't have to waste an goes audible back credit to many years. <laughs> a living resource. We can keep you listening for a long, long time for free. (laughs) Right. Aren't we generous? (laughs) We haven't thrown any recipes in, though. Maybe we need to add some recipes. Maybe that's what's holding us back. (laughs) You guys got a good banana pudding recipe? No. That's all that's all that's separating us from a lucrative book contract. That's right. Some recipes. That's right. You know, they said, well, we would give you guys a book, but you know, Laura Dern and Diane Ladd have recipes in their story. And it's, uh, you know, what can we do? Yeah. I don't begrudge him. <laughs> I don't cook. My husband cooks. It would have to be his book. Yeah. He, he is famously very chatty and re- <laughs> <That's right. laughs> loves to For, talk you know, about himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would not go well. <laughs> so you just have to read, you have to follow my my son's Facebook feed, and he will tell you at least what we eat every night. Yes, that's right. I need to get <laughs> that he doesn't get the recipes. <laughs> <laughs> the other night, oh, this is apropos of nothing, but he said that we were having a stew with bacon and sweet potatoes. And I mentioned that to my husband. He said, oh, well, I didn't put the bacon in. And I said, but honey... It says on Facebook. Right. It's, it's, it's on the record bacon. now. <laughs> no, I think he mm-hmm. just threw some bacon bits from a jar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, you got to please your audience. You got to you gotta meet the expectations. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Well, is that the end of our story for today? I, I think, think it so. is. Thank you for listening. Uh, tune in tomorrow when we'll share our roundabout roundup of things we've been using or enjoying lately that we think deserve a shout out. Find all our episodes at ParentingRoundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. <laughs>